everybody, Ann here, and it is hot, but you know what? I got a job to do. I'm like sweaty. Look, I'm super gross, but you know what? It is insulation time. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had all the drywall stacked up right here, and since I'm working on this wall today, and hopefully others, I hope to use up all of the insulation that I have. I had to move the drywall, and I couldn't stack it sideways because it's too tall. So I just kind of got creative. So I guess I get to keep moving, ins uh, not insulation, drywall around until I can get this job finished. And whew, this is tough. All right, I got one, two, three, four more done. I'm going to have to cut a weird piece for that, weird piece for that, and below there, weird piece for that. And then I got one, two, three, four more done. That is two rolls of the insulation and I'm exhausted. I had to move these, uh, the drywall that was over here to over here. And now I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna put that drywall and then put everything back together. I think I'm done for the day. I have another full row of insulation, which will give me four regular sized. So I've got one over there that's a weird size. Um, I've got one, two, three, four over there. So I might just do this part next. And then with the remnants, just go through and get all the little weird, weird spots and fill them in. Fill them in. I don't know if I'm going to have enough, but it's getting there. Over half of the cabin is insulated. Oh my goodness, this is exhausting. I've got all of that done, all of the back wall done, this, this wall. So not that much more to go. Phew, I should have picked a cooler day to do this. Okay, I just got another wild hair up my, you know what? Um, I had just sat down after taking a break. You know, I was taking a break to do the insulation stuff because I was tired and I thought oh man I want to build one of these so don't laugh it's better than my first one here I'll show you a picture of my first one believe it or not I was really pretty proud of this but clearly it's not a rocket stove yes I did put the little part in the front where you can shove the, shove the wood in but it really isn't long enough and there really wasn't enough space there for the air to be drawn in and that is really critical. So I really couldn't get it to work very much and, and now I know why. So I kind of modified things a little bit. That wasn't a rocket stove. That was just a tall fire pit. <laughs> so um, I looked around on the internet and I didn't have all the right stuff that they suggested, but I had a bunch of other stuff. And so here, here's what it looks like. This is my ghetto rocket stove. <laughs> Alrighty, I didn't have the little H blocks that you put in it, so I had, well, those little things on the bottom for the base. You don't have to have a base, um, but I decided to have it in case the ground's wet, which it almost always is. Um, so I found two of these um, and just put them up like they, like they are. Uh, and I had to figure out a way to get the air in, so that's just a that's just a soup can a stew can it needs to be longer um, so once I open the next one I'll just like put them inside each other so they'll be longer uh, and that's just a piece of wood that I've got burning and so then I just put this little half one right there and then I put another one up on top of here well this one you know it's got the holes this way this one has the holes this way too. Oh, that's hot. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's hot. And uh, I just covered it up like this because for no other reason than to keep this little grill thing on. It's the only thing I had to cook on. And then that's the back. It's not elegant looking, but it is more like a rocket stove than the first one that I built because it's got one, two, three layers um, of bricks to make this little tube right here and whoo that is freaking hot so this has been going for 
I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so, and I just put this thing in. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to burn any more of that because the smoke that comes out of it is kind of black. So, yuck. Um, I'm committed to it now, so I'll just go ahead and burn that all up. Uh, so it's probably treated with something. But just little sticks and whatnot, keep feeding it. So I'm going to see how long it takes to burn that whole yucky piece of wood. And, man, man, it's hot. Alrighty. Um, you know what? I should cook something on it. Hmm. Why not? Jalapeno cheddar sausages. And, oops, I need to get something to turn these with instead of my fingers. It's very, very hot. And it's working. So let me just let these cook a little bit. Let me go inside and get a tong or a poker or something like that. And uh, see how long it takes to cook these things up. Alright, let's just turn these over. These are cooking really nicely. That one, I think I dropped that in the dirt. <laughs> I'll give it to Betty. She didn't care. They probably all look like that. Look at that. Delicious. Yeah, I know. This girl's a little dirty, but you know what? I don't care. It's uh, sanitized by the fire. <laughs> okay, these are officially done. And now, you know what I'm going to do? Can you guess? I'm going to taste my sauerkraut, put a little bit on one of these little hot dogs. Uh, I split it with Betty so she'll get one and a half and see how it tastes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks good. I'm going to go sit down and eat this. The first thing I'm going to do is just take a little taste of this kraut. It's good, but it's not done. Nope, still crunchy. It's starting to get a little tangy, but it's only been going for, I don't know, four days, five days. So, it's good, but how does it taste on a hot dog or a sausage, brat, whatever? Mmm. That's pretty good. We're done eating lunch. Let's go see if it is still hot in that rocket stove. Oh my god, it's still smoking. But I think it's this, this wood right there. Um, it puts off a terrible smoke. It had stopped smoking. It's a bit, oh, ow. But I think what the deal is, is that wood, I just need to pull it out of there and not use it again. It smells nasty. I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to let that part burn. But, yeah, I think it's been a success, so I am totally stoked. Aw, look at Betty. <laughs> she's just, she's tired too. She's been acting funny today. Aw, what's the matter, sweetheart? You're not feeling good, hmm? You're not feeling good today, you just tired? Too much activity, barking at the neighbors, and the neighbors' dogs, and the squirrels. But her tail is still wagging. <laughs> She's a sweet, sweet baby. Aren't ya? Yes, you are. You're the best. Best doggy ever. This is her favorite spot right here on the porch in front of the door. Kind of with her paws hanging over. Just watching and listening to everything. Guarding, protecting the home front. <laughs> what a sweetie. Well, that's about all the activity I can take. I'm tired. I mean, it's a good kind of tired, though, because although I don't like doing insulation, I was super glad that I had gotten all of that done. Um, and then I just sat down for a minute, and I thought, gosh, I, I can do this other thing. And I went and did it. And there's a few other things that I'm thinking of doing, but I, I'm just going to rest. I'm going to take it easy. i got to work tomorrow, and... Um, I hope the van holds up. She has been making some terrible, terrible sounds um, from the wheels, and it started after Firestone started working on it, but um, I'm just going to stay positive and hope that everything goes well. Anyhow, well, that's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.